Coupons with Kelly. I am here with a very small uh, Walgreens haul that um, I did actually get as a pickup order. So that's another reason why I don't have any footage of me in the store because I just walked right in and picked it up. I was a little late getting it because I actually put this in as a pickup order on Sunday. But of course it was Easter and I wasn't going to walk in and interrupt our day to get it. So anyway, so let me just go over really quickly what I did. I did no spend boosters this week. I had to spend 50, get $10 in Walgreens cash. And I just wasn't looking to do a whole lot of out of pocket spending. And I'm really trying to be more aware of that and cognizant of that. And so unless I can put together a really great deal to make my out of pocket low or get cash back um, to help out with my out of pocket. But anyway, it's kind of a slow week anyway at Walgreens. So let me just go over some of the things that I did to help with my, um, actually like my grocery bill this week. So let's dive right in. So what I did Daddy, as my Daddy, pickup Daddy, order Daddy. was I grabbed the Splenda, I grabbed the Lucky Charms, charms. the Planters, the Blue Di Diamond Almonds, and the Q-Tips. So this is what I did. And let me just go over really quickly what the Splenda was. This was not the greatest deal, but I was looking for an Ibotta offer. Um, to just do, but I, it's not like I was really going for a bonus. So anyway, I could have just picked up something else, but this was $5.29. We had a $2 off coupon, making it $3.29 and $2 off on, I, or $2 back on Ibotta. So it made it $1.29 for the box. Um, and so I grabbed that. Then all the General Mills cereals, Davis. Hi. Yeah. All right, get out of the way, please. So the General Mills cereals are on sale this week at Walgreens for $1.99 a box. And we have a $1.00 off to need to go to the bathroom. coupon. And so that makes it go from $3.98 to $2.98. Right? Yeah. And then you submit to Ibotta for $1.00 back. I, I have an Ibotta rebate for $1.00 back on two. You may have something different. You may have like a $0.50 cent off Cheerios or $0.50 cent rebate back on... Um, cinnamon Toast Crunch and you can use both of those but I just had one dollar back on two and I needed some Lucky Charms and so that makes it $1.98 or $0.99 cents a box which really is the cheapest you're going to find for cereal these days so anytime I can get it for $0.99 cents, I usually pick it up. Okay, um, the Blue Diamond Almonds also were on a great sale this week at Walgreens. They are two for five dollars. We have a one dollar digital coupon and that makes them four dollars so two bucks a can. That's Pretty good. And then, what else did I get? What was the price of these Planters Mixed Nuts? Okay, the Planters Mixed Nuts are on sale for $4.99. And we have a $2 digital coupon, so it makes this $2.99. So what I ended up doing was, oh, and the Q-tips. There was no reward coming back on the Q-tips, but we needed these. We were out, out, and my husband had actually gone and gotten some at Walmart, I think, like the Walmart brand. And they're okay. You know, there's something about Q-tips, like this brand, it's just, they're just better. I don't know. But they're on sale this week at Walgreens for two for $7, so $3.50 a box. So what I did was I built up my, whoa, my transaction to get it to $20. So I think this ended up being $20.87. Used $20 in Walgreens cash and got, and just paid $0.87. Cents. Um, so anyway, so those are pretty good food deals. Let me just go over some other things that I grabbed. All right, so I walked into my Walgreens because I wanted to first get my pickup order, but I heard that there was really, really great clearance on certain items. So I checked the baby aisle and the feminine care aisle because there's some great clearance there. And all of that was completely wiped out, which I was not surprised because, I mean, it was Tuesday afternoon, evening. And... I walked past our clearance and this huge thing of coffee was $2.25. Now granted, the expiration date was March 28, 2023, but we have coffee every day and I know that this is vacuum sealed and we're gonna go through this within the next month or so. So um, I went ahead and grabbed it for $2.25. Like that's an, a really great deal. They had some other coffee that was on clearance, but it wasn't that great of a clearance. Like. The plastic containers of Maxwell um, House were me. maybe seven dollars and twenty five cents. Mommy, I I need you to give me some ice cream, and ice cream. I okay. Just, because I just get I just ate red strawberry. Okay. I will get you some. 
I need to check and see if we have rainbow sherbet. So let me, I'll check that in a second. Okay, as you can tell, it's getting closer and closer to bedtime and it's dessert time in his world. All right, so the Maxwell House coffee, just see if you're, I mean, Walgreens does clearance out their coffee and they are really, it's a really, really great clearance. And so back there was $2.25. So I just used $2 in Walgreens cash and just paid the rest out of pocket. So that was a great deal. Okay, I don't know if this promotion is going on, but this was just a really good reminder. Photos at Walgreens. There was a free 8x10 code this week at Walgreens. And if you have ever taken advantage of them, here's a little trick of the trade. You can do an 8x10 photo, a free one, typically on your phone through the app and through the website. What's that? My is mine. So I got two free photos. So I went ahead and, I mean, my poor husband's face kind of got cut off. But, I mean, for free, that's a really good deal. So 8 by 10 photos of us from Easter that I already have printed, and they were free. I didn't have to pay anything. Um, and so you just walk in, grab your photo order, and walk out, and you're done with paying nothing out of pocket. So anyway, just keep that in mind. Um, the code that I used, it was rain-free, and... But it'll come in emails and things like that. And if you check Instagram, a lot of times people will put the codes up. But, that it, I mean, especially after holidays, they'll do a free one, um, knowing that people are going to be picking up photos. But anyway, there were some other good deals going on at Walgreens this week. But I kept it simple, super simple this week, trying to stick with what we needed. And if I'm able to get to CVS at some point this week, I'd love to because I do have some deals that I'd like to get there. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. And if you are not subscribed yet, I'd love for you to join us here on my channel. 